How you doing, traders? Just going to go over uh, the harmonic patterns that the uh, harmonic scanner um, scans for you. Does all the hard work, searching for trades, and makes it so much easier uh, to trade. Um, you have the bat patterns. You have the Gartley pattern. You have the shark pattern. You have the alternative bat pattern. The crab pattern and the butterfly pattern. So those are your patterns, um, and they have a little, you know, um, they have all the ratios and everything, and uh, and they're pretty profitable. As you can see, uh, when I took some trades, you'll see in the video where I took uh, a couple of trades, and um, I won two, and I'm down on one, but it's actually pulling back. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. I closed out the Aussie New Zealand limited out very quickly, and the pound uh, Aussie uh, closed that out with 100 and, 101 pips because uh, it had called the uh, the power zone was in um, in a cell. I haven't been using my MTI4 charting because I'm having some issues with it crashing and being inconsistent. You know, so I'm basically using my Ninja Trader platform at the moment because my uh, the MTI4 charting is not um, working properly. So I've been using my Ninja Trader platform. So if you need any information on um, any of these indicators, the uh, harmonic scanner, the uh, flux power zone, uh, you could all, always uh, sit me and shoot me an email, and then I'll give you the information on that. Um, that's basically it. I had uh, last week I didn't trade that much, maybe traded like two days. Had a lot of work to do, so I couldn't concentrate on trading as much. So I made some pips. Um, but you know, nothing crazy, maybe about, a, maybe about 300 pips for the week. But, um, so anyway, so I will, uh, continue on with the video and you'll see how these patterns work out and how simple and easy it is, uh, using the harmonic scanner. And then also the, uh, flux power zone, um, works awesome as well. I mean, it's, I have a video, uh, I recorded a session, um, a class session is about four hours. So I'm trying to um, see if I can get it down. If not, I'm just going to put it on my YouTube channel. And if when you see this video, whenever I can get it out, you'll be amazed of uh, what these banks and institutions do because these moves are already predicted before the news comes out. You know, it's already predetermined. And when you see the video, you can make your own decision. Okay, it's very eye-opening, and, and it's a must-watch. I just, you know, I'm, if I can't edit the video, I'm just going to upload it on uh, YouTube. Okay, so it's, it, it's, it's very eye-opening, this video, with using the, uh, you know, Flux Power Zone and, you know, looking into the future before trading like uh, <clears throat> it's just amazing you have to you have to watch it to believe it welcome back traders just uh going over the harmonic scanner uh it's uh sunday almost 7 p.m eastern standard time so i'm just going to go over the scanner really quick um i see a um, pattern on the great british pound u.s dollar um, it's currently, um, what pattern is that? <clears throat> Just checking the patterns out here. Um, and it looked like it pulled back. I'm not in it, in, it, in any trades right now, but, um, we're going to see how this pattern pull, if it pulls back a little bit more and doesn't take out these stops, we're probably going to enter the, uh, trade. Because it's still in the entry zone here, even though it pulled out, 
hit this uh, support level and broke through. Um, let me draw a trend line. But uh, let's see. It's still, uh, yeah, I may, if it pulls back some more here. Um, let me enter in because uh, if it gets back here and then maybe I put my stop right below here and then try to take this thing out. This is the great British pound US dollar. Okay, that's the that's, uh, pattern one. Now we get the, that's a four hour. And we have the uh, great British pound New Zealand dollar. This also is a good, uh, it's got an uh, entry here as well, broke through. Um, now, what, <clears throat> what also I like to do is to put an entry order um, down in these levels here. You know, um, there was one trade, uh, it was the Euro Australian. I put my entry order in, I think it was news from uh, something about the Euro um, interest rate or something. And I put my um, entry order, you know, had everything in. And it hit that level, and it went up as much as 600 pips. And I thought it was going to, you know, go to the limit, but it did not. And it wound up pulling back, and I wind up getting uh, about 300 pips on that move. But that was an entry order with uh, some targets. All right, so um, where are we here? 206, that's the pound New Zealand. It looks like it's pulling back. There's another entry here with the pound Australian. But um, i got to check. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to check the power zone and the flux before to use that for my entries. Maybe get a better entry. But this the stop um, risk reward on this trade right here is an excellent risk reward because it's almost at the stop right here. Um, you're looking at it's at 85.24, and the stop is at 85.89. Right there is a uh, it's a great risk reward ratio. So I'm um, just going to see what's going to happen with this. I may take that trade as well. Here's the one hour. Here's the one hour pound. Uh, it's a deep crab pattern. On the um, there's another entry as well. <clears throat> Here's the D. Here's your entry. Same as the four hour. It looks like the entry. But the stop is. This is. And why is the one hour stop 200 pips? Versus, let me just check the four hour. Four hour is. Yeah, they're, they're the same. Okay. Alright, so let's go to the New Zealand dollar. Where you could see this. Um, it didn't quite get into the entry here as you can see here it didn't quite make the entry so that's not a valid pattern here is the one hour shark pattern on the dollar Canadian Oops. X to A, A to B this did not hit the entry right here because it has to get up into this area before it's an entry. So that's not valid. <clears throat> New Zealand uh, JPY. This is an entry. On the one hour. This is actually excellent because it hit the D. Took out target one. Pulled back into the zone. This trade I may take. How many pips? Um, hmm. 7607. Yeah, this one I may take. And the risk reward. Usually JPY. Yeah, we're going to take this one. 24. See, this was the best entry. Well, this was actually a great entry, and then it went right to target one immediately. So. Okay, we'll see what happens. I got my stop in, and my limit, I'm going to put the limit on at 77.61 for take profit one. <clears throat>
because my entry here is on um, you know right at the entry if I could have got this entry here the pullback that's what I like to do too get the pull either get the first initial um, when it comes in it normally goes to target one then pulls back and then goes uh, to these other targets all right so 77 61 61 which is 90 pips okay all right so that's what we're gonna do trader we're gonna you know keep it at that uh, risk reward <clears throat> this looks like a good trade here so we're up uh, 0.18 pips welcome back traders trading the harmonic scanner okay traders um i'll find up finding a trade here with the new zealand jpy i entered the trade here um i use this stop loss and um we're uh i think maybe we're up like one pip or something like that no almost so but i'm going to take my take profit target at uh target two seventy six sixty one what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my stop to break even once we get up to this level here. And then um, because my entry was like right here, I'd rather get, I like to get a deeper pullback <clears throat> when I'm entering using the harmonic scanner. So basically I was just going over some of the um, current um, possible trades. And this is, like I said, it's pretty much, um, you know, it, it does all the work for you basically searching for a trade let's get rid of these uh, you know I'll leave that on there. it basically um, you know cuts your time down just looking for a trade because um, everything is already mapped out for you stop losses take profits you know and then here's to, uh, you know here's a trade here right here I could take this as well stop is uh, Still, it's got like a bigger zone here. It's a pullback. So, I didn't take that. That's a four hour. That's a deep crab pattern. And you got the Aussie. This one's a good trade right here. So, I may take this trade because if it breaks through here, look at the risk reward. You know, I'll lose. Let's see, it's 85.27. <clears throat> the stop is at 84.89. So, where are you going to get um, a risk reward? You know that I mean it's just uh, bananas. So I may take a I'm gonna take a take a position on this as well. I um, also dollar. Okay, let's check this. We're in good shape. All right, so we're gonna take the uh, pound. A super type stop on this because it. Uh, Okay, we're gonna do with the super tight stop. Um, our stop is at eighty four eighty nine. Okay, very simple. Let's see. That's that. 89. Okay, and I'll take profits gonna be I'm gonna look at target two versus target one. We're gonna go with 8660 8663. Limit. Okay. All right, so I'm in that trade as well. Go up right there. Admit, we're good money. <clears throat> All right, so I have other accounts that I feel like I trade for as well. So let's log out of this account. I'm into. Let's see how this account's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Uh, Yeah, this looks like a 
you know, the risk reward is, you, you can't pass this up because a lot of times, you know, when you pass up a trade like this and then it just goes boom, it just takes out everything. You know, like I should have entered the trade. You know, risk reward is excellent. Okay, then you got the pound New Zealand uh, one hour, which still requires a lot of deep pullback, so we're going to leave that one alone. Um, it did hit the entry, but you know the the pullback could be you know you're looking like 200 pips. See, this one's a 200 pip um, stop from here, so we're going to leave that alone. If it pulls back deeper in the zone, then we may consider it. Um, invalid trade didn't uh, hit the uh, target yet. The entry did not had never hit this yet. Was the Canadian one hour shark pattern didn't hit the entry as well. This one I'm in the trade already. Yellow JPY. Uh, this is the Aussie New Zealand. Hmm. Hmm. This one's interesting because. Hmm. I'm yeah, I'm going to take this trade because this one's another low risk trade here. Okay. We are going to take this one. Okay. There we go. Two. And then we're going to go with the sell side. Sell side, and our stop will be 1 1.14. 1.14. Four, nine, seven. Okay, that's correct. Okay, nine, nine. Four, nine, seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then like I said, I like to take take profit at take profit two, lock it in at take profit one. Okay, limit is going to be one ten. Eight nine five. Okay, we're all set with that. We're good to go. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> so, and that's actually a Gartley pattern. This one I just took. Okay, and then uh, we got the euro. Let <clears throat> me get the U.S. dollar, Swiss franc. Which right here, if you got an entry <clears throat> here, um, as you can see, it took out both targets. One, two, and three. Actually, three targets. So that this trade is over. Okay, fulfilled itself. Euro Canadian. Oh, goodness. What a, what a mess on this one. Yeah, it's a stop up. But see, look at, if you took this trade... And you got an entry here. I mean, your stop is, you know, very minimal. You know, I didn't take this one. You know, you, have, you can pick and choose which ones you want to take. It goes right into the chop zone. So I might look at this area here. Right here. So this is, yeah, I'm gonna look at this area here. Right there. Okay. This is a pretty uh I guess I'm gonna take a look at this area. Like a hump, the pullback. 
Yeah, I'm going to take a look around in this area as well. And I could just go on and on and on. Here's a good area here. Got some really crazy action here, though. This is, is going to be a low. This is where you might want to enter the trade right here when I take the hump down. And then it goes up. And you want to exit here. Or possibly get in here. But you're going to have to probably re exit. Or if you want to just hold it for the trend until 1115, then you want to get out. You got some options here. So we want to be interested in something right there. And we definitely want to get out of the trade there. And maybe re enter here. Use a sign on there. May you know I can just mark off you know all the points of interest that you know I you know with a big histogram. Yeah, also filter here these yellow lines. In order to print a timestamp, it has to cross these yellow lines, and then you get a timestamp. Here's a good right here. This is good. Let's see. This here is trend wise in the chop zone, but I do want to take a look at it. You know when I get to this point. And see what happens because this could be the entry up. I mean, I could just keep going on and on and on and on. All right, so let's just go back. Those are the points of interest that I want to look at with the power zone and the Aussie dollar. And oops, and here we are. Uh, okay, now let's see what the Aussie dollar is doing. Once the Aussie dollar gets right, like here. It should start going down. So let's see what it's actually doing. It's actually going down. But it should go down with more force. Um, see, uh, we have a five minute. Yeah, see, it should be going down with more uh, force. So I'm in actually a couple of trades with these uh, harmonic, with the harmonic scanner. Actually, in a Aussie Museum, which I'm, as you can see here, look at if this closes, look at this is how narrowly close in 15 minutes. That is uh, an evening star. Okay, and I am in something else. Oh, the New Zealand JPY. But I'm on a small part of hour right here. We are. I'm in on the buy side on this, so I'm not paying out five pips. All right, so this is the trend stalker. It's going down, and that's the GBP AUD. I'm actually in that as well, and this is with the current trend on the trend stalker here. Five minute, you get a green hour up, and it's in a buy. You got to take profit. What I'm going to do with this is, um. It goes by the ATR. I like to double it. The ATR. So let me just go to indicators, settings, <clears throat> broad trend stalker here. Come down, and we just want to change this. I'm gonna put it as just default. You want it two times the multiplier for the ATR. So we want it two, four, six. Eight, ten, and twelve. We're gonna set all these at default. Set the default. You don't have to keep changing it. <clears throat> oh come on! I was gonna say, don't be like uh, MT4. At least this platform, I know what to do. <clears throat> so it's going to load up. Okay, see now our targets have extended. This, I'm going to have to fix this color yellow because you can barely see it. And then what it does is when it when you get into this trend, and then also I forgot to tell you it has an uh, aggressive, this is trend, it's on trend now, but also you could put it on aggressive and it gets a quicker entry. I'm just going to shift and get it to it already. Oh, there it goes. See that? It would be already at take profit um, two. 
on the uh, aggressor. Now we're getting a pullback. So let's go back to trend mode. <coughs> we're getting a pullback now. And and what it will do is it will pull right back to the support level here. All right, so let's pound off. See, I'm currently in it. Um, it just dropped like 10 pips, so we'll see what happens with that. This is the US dollar Canadian. So let's take up the, um, let's see, how's the JPY? JPY just got a big sell dot in the direction of the downtrend with the broad head arrow. Hmm. Hmm. And we got an ace stochastic uh, cell as well. I mean, the other thing is, it'll tell you when the next buy or sell uh, arrow is going to come. Uh, power zone buy is 129 minutes from now. And the ace stochastic is 109 minutes away. For the next cell, uh, so this may be a cell. We'll see what happens with this, but um, yeah, it might pull back. Yeah, but right here, and you get the broad this arrow. Doesn't appear often, but when it appears, uh, you want to take note of it. Um, for the indicators, yeah, the flux broadhead. This is when you have a really over enter here and it dips down. Maybe I don't know how it pips. Uh, 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 almost 20 pips. Yeah, that was 97. That went down to. 76. Yeah, a little more than 20 pips. I mean, that was a quick scout. So we'll see what happens. With, uh oh. We had a close below this line here. So that would indicate a short. All right, so we'll see what happens. With this. I'm not in this trade currently, but welcome back, traders. Trading the harmonic scanner. As you can see here, I got an entry down here. And we're already at take profit one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving my stop up. Break even. Let's see what the power zone is saying. Yep, power zone. Excuse me, even this is the Aussie dollar works opposite of a pound Aussie. And as you can see here, uh, the Aussie dollar is pulling back. So I'm going to have to update my charts. But as you can see here, we got a huge bullish candle. And this is the hourly on a pound um, Aussie. And I also took a buy trade on, I don't know how that's working out, on this. Was a pound JP, I mean a New Zealand JPY. Uh, I think I'm up maybe one or two pips on that. And I took a sell trade on the Aussie New Wow. Okay, I guess I hit my limit. <laughs> wow, just hit my limit on that. Okay, so those are closed out. You see what I'm saying, traders? I mean, this harmonic scanner is. You know, it's pretty amazing, you know, where you don't have to, um, you know, it does all the work for you. It searches for the trades, you know, and you get your entry point here, and uh, that's it. So these are closed out. Let me see how many pips I got. Okay, let's um, log on to this account. Uh, it's this account. Which account am I in the Aussie? 
All right, we're up like 86 pips on the pound Aussie. Uh, let's see. Let's not be a count on here. Let's see. It's going to be, maybe it's this account. I know I have my take profit at, take profit at two in your hold position. 41 pips on the uh, Aussie New Zealand. That's a win. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying with this harmonic scanner. Uh, the one trade I'm actually down on is the, hold on. Let's log out. I don't know what trade I'm in. Okay, we're up. We're down seven pips on the New Zealand JPY. So I got out of that. Uh, let's see what the four five is in. I think the four five is in there. Four five is in. That's up forty one pips on the Aussie dollar. Four six. Yes, we got a huge bearish candle. Now I thought I was in another. Hmm. Now this trade, the uh, New Zealand JPY, I'm down 10 pips. Okay. All right, traders. So uh, basically um, with this harmonic scanner, um, it was, you know, once this trade got up in this entry zone, I wound up taking the trade and I uh, put my take profit at um, level two because my entry was, you know, um, it was a decent entry up here, and I just bypassed level one, and then went for two, and it's probably going to take out this as well. Once this candle closes, it may pull back a little bit and take out target three. <clears throat> so my risk uh, reward was excellent, and then also on the pound um, Aussie, I'm going to have to um, let's go to the pound Aussie really quick right here pound Aussie and then we have the pound Aussie take profit right here so we're currently up um, it's got to be. welcome back traders okay now I got a, a time cycle um, sell signal on the power zone and I'm currently in a trade and I'm up about a hundred pips I'm gonna close the trade um, because it's pretty much um, Let's see where are we? We're close to take profit, but um, hmm. Let's see where we're currently at here. Yeah, we're still above. This what we'll, This is one of the rules. If you're still above this line, if we get a candle close below here, then we want to exit. But we did get a red um. This is a sell signal. So um, we're still up in the trend. As you can see, um, it's actually going up. You know, up this, let's see, we're up about 105 pips. We're down 42 on the New Zealand JPY. And we're up 36 on the Aussie US dollar. So. These things are pretty much on the money here. So like I said, if we get a close, this is like a, a pivot point here that's on here. Now if we get a close below this level of this uh, fractal here, then we are uh, going to exit the trade before we hit our limit. Because once this calls a sell, um, and then you get a close below this level, it's going down. That's one of the rules. So like I said, we're currently up 105 pips on the pound um, of the harmonic scanner uh, combined with the uh, power zone. Here's the harmonic scanner. Yeah, this is, what is this, the New Zealand JPY? 
Yeah, it's coming pretty close to our stop, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, where are we? Town Aussie. Right there. We're at we're getting close to take profit too. But um hmm, we'll see what happens with this if we get to take profit. And then we already closed out of the Okay, we got a new pattern here. We got a shark pattern on the Aussie JPY and the New Zealand JPY on the one hour and the four hour, which is giving you like pretty precise entries with really low risk because now it's currently, you know, pretty close to the stop. And then it will give you an alert. My emails, I have to reset up my email. So I can get those email alerts. So, so, let's, so let's click on it. Okay, the Aussie JPY is actually just entered the zone. Now, um, that's on the four hour, and then on the one hour, it hasn't entered the zone. It's getting pretty close now. Um, still got a lot of, you know, we got a lot of room here. 84. Um, Stop. No, well, you got a lot. You got a ton of room here, actually. 84.12 is the stop. That's a pretty big stop. So, um, entry. Stop is 78 pips. First target. Yeah, we'll wait. You wait for a pullback. Too many pips. So, okay, now the Zealand APY. This one I'm currently in. It's the max entry is here. Uh, pretty close to the stop here. That's why we got a, um, an alert now, but now you wouldn't want to take this trade because you got a big bearish candle. You would need some kind of a, you know, formation, uh, you know, in order to take this trade. Because here, when I got in the trade, I had some bullish candles and it, I was entered like right about right here at right this level. So. That one's not working out so great. Um, go down like 45 pips on that. Up 110 on the Aussie, pound Aussie, and about 40 on the Australian dollar. Okay, so we'll see what happens with this. Um, we got a lot of support here, so we'll have to see what happens. Getting a little pullback here. Here we're getting a pullback. I mean, I, <clears throat> we'll see. And that was the basically the pattern that just popped up. It has all your uh, tells you what kind of pattern it is shark pattern, and it gives you uh, the ratios A to B, um, B to C. You got the ratios right here to create that particular pattern. You have your entry. You got two entries: 7701, 7670. You know it varies with the, um, you know, with this entry and then this entry. You got a 21 pip stop, and then you have a 52 pip stop. Okay. Then you have uh, take profit one and take profit two. Gives you a free margin, your balance, your leverage. Um, then you have your risk reward. Um, this is also this is obviously a demo account. I trade differently on my live accounts. And once you you have your balances, it'll calculate how many lot sizes put one one percent risk, a two percent risk, and a three percent risk. Very simple. And like I said, it's all you know right here. All right. So we'll see what happens with this trade, and uh, that's about it, traders. The harmonic scanner, and then let's go to the ninja with the power zone. Uh, I had the, in early in the video this printed a red um, cell marker here at 8:45 on the Great British Pound JPY, and it just
just proceeded to drop pretty hard. I was I did not take this trade and it dropped. Here's the bearish candle and it proceeded to drop as far as 53 pips from there. This is a five minute chart. Um, he had the broadhead. He had a combination of when you see the broadhead, it's oversold, no over overbought, right here. It's overbought. Now, if you see the broadhead on the bottom, and then it's extremely oversold. We had a combination of this broadhead with the red arrow, with the with the uh, another sell signal here, and a big one, and then you have to drop. Okay, so definitely works out pretty well. Uh, this is should be a, almost like a trap. There's like a lot of action going on here. All right, and we can look into the future. Uh, what's going to happen? Looks like this is a big mess right here. So I don't want to be in the, this big mess. You got choppy up, down, up, down, up, down. You don't want to, you know, have a trade on or try to trade in this zone. You know, maybe after, you know, 4.15. My time is off by an hour, so it's going to be like 3.15. And then you may want to get into a trade down here. You know, once you get past this level. But this is too much going on here. So. Alright. I don't want to make these videos too long. So, all right, let me just stop it. All right, traders.